Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you know, we have uh, the Israeli-Palestinian uh, issue, and we know from the free media, the real media, the good media, the truthful media, that there's one side who's always good, and the other side is always bad. That's what uh, uh, these guys are telling us, and you should believe it, because uh, we are the free world, and they are the not-free world, whomever tell you something else. So we have here two articles where, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure there would be a justification, a justification why this happened. And this is what happened. BBC journalists held at gunpoint by Israeli police in Tel Aviv. I'm pretty sure that a, a, a acceptable justification why Probably the, the BBC uh, journalists uh, behave in a certain way that uh, now that uh, Israeli are very, are very jumpy, they just uh, you know, defend themselves and they took over. So it's okay. This is things what happen. No abuse whatsoever. It's just, you know, just the way the Russians do. Um, I mean, um, the Russians do wars, right? So uh, I'm not going to use a deadline here because who's, what's deadline? What's this? You know, never heard of that. So I'm going to go to the most trusted, most tr uh, they want something. No, thank you. How about that? Click. I don't want to be informed by you, CNN. <laughs> I allow you to inform everybody else out there but me. But I use you right now. Why? Because I have to uh, build my credibility using CNN and not Deadline. Because Deadline, I never heard of Deadline. Whatever. whatever. CNN, we heard about it. Business. It's even business. Right there in the corner. See, business must be true. My Oliver Darcy, CNN. Here's an <laughs> BBC journalists assaulted and held at gunpoint by Israeli police. Network says BBC. Now you have here a problem. You're gonna have. Uh, you're gonna encounter. Uh, how's that cognitive dissonance? You're gonna have to make a choice. How is this possible? Because we know BBC is fantastic. Oh, we know Israel <laughs> police is fantastic. So, which one is bad? I'm pretty sure they can come up with a uh, narrative that we both are okay. And probably the Israeli police thought that these guys were something because they behave in a certain way and they were just wishy-washy. Nobody's fault. Like uh, Led Zeppelin's song, right? Nobody's fault but mine. But in this case, nobody's fault but our stupid, tarded interpretation. Wait for it. You can make shit up, man. And here they are. Oh, what's that? <laughs> All right, so here it is. They are uh, checking not his butt, but everything these guys have, right? I'm assuming. The BBC said Friday that a group of its journalists covering Israel's war with Hamas were held at gunpoint and assaulted by Israeli police in Tel Aviv. Like what? Like bang? I covered a, uh, an article or two, I think, uh, earlier today where a um was a cnn cnn i think it was cnn cnn journalist that was blown up by uh israel in lebanon what were the israeli shelling another independent sovereign country for i don't know but probably the lebanese did something because <laughs> you have the narrative the narrative is stellar uh, crystal clear beautiful 100 percent uh you know so you can say it was Israeli who did it. Either it was an accident, which is a collateral damage. Family, you just bury your father or brother. Collateral damage here. Uh, so we made a mistake. It's okay. How much money you need? You have to state, why don't you pay for us? Go. <laughs> yes, how much you want? We're going to print some money because we don't have shit. <laughs> you can't make shit up, man. So that uh, I covered earlier today. And right now it seems like they take on BBC. Well, this is already a pattern, my friends. This is the mass media. It's harassed by Israelis, but we can't. It can't be because Israel, as we know, is <laughs> right. The disturbing incident, ooh, with which the BBC said occurred on Thursday night, came as the team of three journalists drove to the hotel in a vehicle clearly marked as media. The British news network said. I don't see any here because the, door, the doors are open. The BBC said that the team was dragged from their vehicles. Get the fuck out. All right. Searched. <laughs> Cavity searched too. <laughs> clip, clip. <laughs> and pushed up against the wall during the stop 
One of the journalists said that when he tried to film the incident, the officer threw his phone on the ground. <gasps> oh, that's a felony. Uh, that's freedom of the press for you. The democracy, the only democracy is like us. They are like us. Do you remember? We have a certain kind of affinity. That's what we're told. <laughs> oh, well, Emil, things like this happen in the uh, United States of America. Yes, and then what happened then? You, they have a bunch of people <clears throat> destroying uh, cities, you know, uh, turning upside down uh, police cars and destroying private property because they are enraged. Hmm? Sounds familiar? Huh? I, I think so. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that uh, occurs and mm, uh, uh, what are we going to do? Hey, Gigi, why don't you come with a smart narrative so we fool these uh, tards over there? Yeah, no problem. We did it before, so not a big deal, boss. So we're dragged from the vehicle. Well, that's standard uh, operation. Um, maybe they were Palestinians. <laughs> and they usually said, oh, Palestinian car. Let's give them the treatment. And I'm quoting, journalists must be able to report on the conflict in Israel-Gaza freely. Must, says who? If you don't have the power, shut the fuck up. Uh, a BBC spokesperson said in a statement provided to CNN, an Israeli police spokesperson did not immediately respond to a request for comment. That person is making their narrative right now. They're working on it. So give them, I don't know, 10 minutes. They'll come with it. An Israeli police spoke. And okay, the incident came as Israel faces questions after firing artillery into, oh, they mentioned that, into southern Lebanon on Friday, killing a Reuters, my bad, not CNN, Reuters videographer and injuring six other journalists. It was videotaped, by the way. Uh, in that instance, the journalists were wearing jackets, identifying themselves as members of the press. Maybe you should not wear jackets. Maybe you should wear the Star of David and you're going to be A-OK. -okay. The Israeli Defense Forces acknowledged firing artillery into Lebanon on Friday, but did not respond to additional questions specifically related to the victims. Why? Gigi is working on that, on, that, on that narrative too, my friends. Oh, fuck, man. This is it, my friends. This is, this is um, the land that identifies with us. We have the same values, the Judeo-Christian values, like collective punishment punishing uh, you know up to the seventh generation back there because that's the Romans and the, the the Greeks did remember well they did some bad stuff as well but we took that and said well we peel that away and we made something fantastic right yes but still the Roman law but anyway this is better judeo-christian uh, they 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 try to give us this garbage and I I'm like yeah, show me. Uh, don't do unto others. Say what? Apply that in Israel. How about that? But that's not them because that's, they're not Christians. <laughs> they're uh... Anyway, so we go here with uh, BBC dragged and abused. I want to hear United States. I want to hear the big corporations here, media outlets, you know, saying, hey, this is, you, this is wrong. This is this as it is. Freedom of the press blown up aggressed and so on. I want to hear them say something. They will not say squat. They will say probably right at boom, gone, buried, never hear from it. If this would have happened, let's say in Moscow, not Tel Aviv, what do you think uh, we would have? We will have a clown show here. We're going to have it every freaking day. At same because uh, we are the good and they're the bad. Like that? I don't think so. Um, you can have situational justice and situational uh, values. You know, I like it here. I don't like it here. I'm using it here. I'm, apply I'm applying it here and so on. So yeah, how are we going to put it together? I guess is uh, based on uh, victimology. So on the scale of victimology, you have certain groups and certain groups, uh, regardless of what the evidence shows, if this guy is underneath, this guy cannot do to this guy anything, but this guy can do that. And you see it in America very clearly. Maybe uh, uh, people from other countries don't understand what I'm talking about. But uh, it's so idiotic, my friends. And uh, what can you have? Uh, spoiled people will have a, will create a weak uh, society but and country. But it's okay because a weak country and a uh, weak society and poor society will create strong leaders at one point. And again, it's a cycle, you know, strong leaders create idiots and then idiots create idiocracies and idiocracies again create strong leaders and it's that little cycle. Uh, 
So yes, my friends, I'm pretty sure the BBC did something. It must can be like this, cannot be. <laughs> and the same in Lebanon. I'm pretty sure those guys did something. I don't know exactly what Gigi is working at the narratives as I speak with you right now. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be deep at all. Why? Because he's not going to be targeting you or I. He's going to target target those guys. Ooh, Bud Light. Ooh, and, okay? Those guys. My pussy hurts. The safe uh, spaces. Those kind of uh, <clears throat> strata of the society. So, and those guys will be, yeah, but yeah, they did something. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.